I gotta pick out my outfit for CMT. I'm not sure I'm happy yet. But I'm gonna just wear it for a couple minutes and see how I feel. Because I love you guys and I wanna look good. We're Old Dominion. We're Old Dominion. One, two, three. We're, We're Old Dominion. Dominion. Here we are, St. Augustine, playing back-to-back -back nights, winding the year down. It's night number one. Should be a full crowd tonight, and usually the energy here is great. Florida's good to us. been a strange year for touring, just trying to figure out how to be as safe as we possibly can. And that's been really fun to get back and see people excited for live music again. We are wrapping up the We Are Old Dominion tour. I'm always a little sad when we're wrapping up a tour. You kind of get into a great routine. And out here are kind of like my road family. So the five of us on stage are Old Dominion, but we like to think that everybody that attends and everyone that works with us is also Old Dominion. It's just grown so much. It used to just be the five of us, and then it was a couple of crew members, and then we start getting fans, and then you start to realize, you know, there is no way we could do this without this entire team that we consider family. Hey, you. This is the early shift. People that really want it in life, okay? So there's suckers are back there sleeping. What's that gonna get them? Not any birdies. Do that. I almost operate my day not even thinking about the show in the morning. You have to have your routines, whether it's golf or exercise or things like that. If we're playing a show with another artist, we'll come out like, you know, who have we golfed with? You know, Jordan Davis, I get out there with him. And golf with Darius likes to get out and golf a lot. Darius is pretty good, right? Yeah. He's about, about on our level. We often wonder what the rest of the band is doing when we're golfing. We should go wake Jeff up. <laughs> Just crawl into the bunk with him. Oh yeah, this is putter all day for me. They're probably sitting there drinking their coffee with, you know, shirts off. Whoops. <laughs> oh, they got some peppers. What is that little fruit tree? Ah. That's an orange. Rosen takes the early lead. <laughs> Being a band in country music for us means that we're writing the songs, we're playing the songs for better or worse, and it helps define a sound too. So I think that helps set us apart a little bit. It's always surprising to us that there are so few bands in country, especially because of how we got to Nashville. We were all in bands. We've known each other so long. We try to peg the band starting, right. I don't know. I think it was 2007. Yeah. And the only reason I know that is because at some point we must have made the decision and we started selling t-shirts that yeah. said Old oh, Dominion yeah, yeah. established 2007. We got the, <laughs> we got the website, we got, we got olddominionband.com. That's like our proof of okay. uh, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Really, the only way to prepare you for an Old Dominion show is to just say that you're gonna see 
five guys having the time of their life. Ooh, yeah. It's a little bit of a chaotic scene. I think about an hour before showtime, things start to ramp up. Everybody's getting dressed. And... Yeah. Yeah. See yeah, the names of our wardrobe cases. <laughs> Karen, Jimmy, Kimberly. Anyone familiar with contemporary country music? Little Big Temple. Little Big Temple. They gave us these cases as a gift, and we, um, to honor them, made sure to keep their names. The best part is at the end of the night. <clears throat> the best part is at the end of the night. Uh... <laughs> hey, Jeff, what's the best part? What's best the best part, part is at the end of the night. Sometimes you want to find out if your wardrobe case is still around. So you text the crew and you say, is uh, Karen still in the dressing room? Like, oh, Jeff's looking for Karen right now. Where's Karen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pre-show toast that we have. Keep it short, end of the year it is, uh, has been a pretty uncertain year and I just wanna say to our crew, thank you for rolling with it. We love you so much and we're gonna miss you. So thank you guys for being with us all this crazy year. We love you and we'll do this again next year. Seriously. It's a build up, you know, as it gets closer and closer, you know, you start to get more excited and more excited, and then you hear the, the crowd. And that moment that we have before going on stage where we're just huddled up and getting our ears on and getting ready to do it is really like, it's just about game time. When you first walk out, you can kind of immediately gauge how the show's gonna go. They react to you, you react to them, and that moment when you're just all in with the audience. What's up, y'all? That first moment is the best part. Woo! Night number one, what is up? One, two, one, two, I'm talking to you. I remember it like it was yesterday, cause it was. And I still got my buzz and she gone for the summer, gone for the night, gone for the weekend, all the rest of my life. And she laughed and was she crying as she walked away, I can't say. I was on a boat that day, the river was rolling. I was getting my boat on, she was telling me so long. I was already so long gone. brought the flame, the flames out for you guys. Bringing the motorcycles out on tour has been this amazing opportunity for us to kind of explore all these places that our job takes us. I'll just go break the sandwich. Break the sandwich. Yeah. We're doing pop stars too. Okay, okay, all right, okay. I think the show was awesome. This All morning right. when I woke up, I was like, ooh, can't do another one. <laughs> yeah. The show went off the rails for, for a moment. For you. You definitely got, like, yeah. yeah. You got the yips for a second or something. It was good, but it went off the rails for a moment. If something goes wrong on stage, I know for me, I spend the whole rest of the night questioning Am I everything else. This job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So it takes you out of the moment. So yeah, I was out of it for a solid four songs. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I was having some trouble hearing last night, for sure. So it was causing me to sing off key. We were working on that at Soundcheck today. We were working on a little transition that we felt was weird. What's up with that mic, dude? Big job. Yeah, it sounds weird. Last night, it was almost like it wasn't on. They're all little things that most people probably won't notice, but maybe they'll feel them. For us to be able to, to know we nailed it is gonna be better and it's gonna translate to them. It's night two, so we'll switch the set list up and we'll give them a little bit different show. I like not knowing what's gonna happen. That's part of the fun of it. Figuring out the first song or what we're gonna do to yeah. open the show has become my favorite 
thing to figure out. A lot's changed over the years with somehow sort of keeping the essence of who we are. We've grown certainly as writers and as musicians and as friends and you know I think the type of music that we create is a little different. There's so many challenges over the years. You know, obviously when you're living out of a van, you're yeah. probably not making too much money. Yeah. Jeff was sitting with me on my front porch uh, <gasps> one morning when they came and turned off my water. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Just sipping on some coffee. Yeah, we're sitting out there having coffee. Van pulls oh, up. Oh, look at that guy. What's he, yeah. what's he doing? Pulls out the thing, <laughs> twisting the thing off. <laughs> I'm gonna do this at some point tonight on the stage. I'll be like, hey y'all, we're old men. Can you do that with a blockage feeling? <laughs> Welcome everybody, second night in St. Augustine. We're sold out again. Feels nice. Uh, thank you, Radio, for being here. Tonight, your MC, the man in the white leather jacket. Oh, Fat yeah. Albert Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Fat Albert Airlines. Yeah. yeah. When the white leather comes out, it's gonna be a good night. <laughs> Cheers. 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 We get in a room or we sit on a bus and we make up this song and we're in this little bubble trying to make up the song, but then when you get out there and see all those people, it's like, oh yeah, these are out there in the world and, and this means something to these people. They've made it a part of their lives. What's up, night number two? you start a song and you see two people look at each other like, this is it, this is the one we, were, we came here for, and, or they hug or they cry or whatever. You know, when you can see that moment happen for somebody, it's, there's nothing like it. I had a moment like a week ago where I was talking to this guy and he said, I just want to thank you because your music is part of all these happy moments between me and my wife. So thank you guys so much for allowing us and our music to be a part of your lives, even if it was just for tonight. As much of a grind as touring can be, a great show is unmatched. We Are Old Dominion started with the very first show we played after naming the band. We were playing as lots of different things, you know, um, not really having a name settled on. And when we finally chose the name at the end of the set, I did what we still do every night. I introduced everybody and said, we're Old Dominion. And I've done it at every show since then. That's Trevor! That's Whip! That's Jeff! That's Brad! My name is Matthew! We are all Dominion! start filling, you know, amphitheaters and arenas and, and your life has turned upside down in all the best ways because of all of these people. There's no way we could do it without that. So it really is bigger than us. So that's sort of how We Are Old Dominion became sort of the mantra is, you know, it's everyone. CMT is now Old Dominion as well. 